Hey, how's it going everybody? I got this thing today. Um, it's something that uh, my friends over at Yata Motor sent me. Uh, it's a fantastic idea and I think it's gonna be a great addition to our Tesla Model Y. Uh, in fact, any Tesla that you have is gonna be a great addition to it. And it, it becomes a solution for, you know, in our case, we have a baby. Uh, we're always carrying around milk and sandwiches and snacks and stuff like that. And this is something you could pop in the back of the car, plug right into the 12 volt connector in the back, and then you're off to the races and, and it's gonna uh, keep everything cold for you or hot if that's what you're looking to do. So sit back, relax. You guys are watching the tall Tesla guy. Uh, like I said, this came from Yate Motor and um, it's kind of a nondescript brown box as you can see here. But um, what's exciting is when we open it up. So I am gonna open it up right now. And I did sneak a peek at this, but uh, what this is, is, uh, and it, again, it falls into the category of things that I never knew I needed, but now that I have it, I think it's amazing. And I think it's fantastic. This is actually a mini fridge. Get all the paper, the plastic out of the way. So this is actually a mini fridge that um, we'll plug into the back of a, a Tesla. As you can see, it's got a, a 12 volt and a 120. So you can actually plug it in your, you know, regular outlet inside, but also with the Tesla. It keeps it hot and cold with the switch there. You can switch it back and forth. And from what I can tell, now it's not designed to be a refrigerator. So this is a, at least a refrigerator forever or anything like that. This is actually going to uh, keep things cold or keep things warm temporarily. You know, while you're on a road trip, while you're driving around, maybe in your office, something like that. But um, ideally, it's not going to replace the fridge in your kitchen. And that's not by design. Or that's the design anyway. So it's got this nice. This is kind of a, a glass front, which is really nice. Almost like a, you know, there's a couple different colors. You can kind of see on here. You can get a couple different color varieties. Uh, the shell on this is made out of plastic. Obviously, it's got the fan motors in the back. It's got this fantastic handle on the top, which I think is great. And then from there, when you open it up, couple shelves. Now, like I said, you're, you're not gonna fill it full of um, gallons of milk, anything like that, but candy bars, sandwiches, sodas, um, you know, milk, whatever, in our case, milk, juice, whatever you guys need to keep cold is kind of what's gonna go in here. And it comes with both plugs for the uh, 120, or 110, sorry, and then the 12 volt right there. Obviously the instructions, and this is actually a, a thermoelectric cooler warmer versus a refrigerator. So there's no coolant or anything like that in there. It's basically got a fan that either heats it up like a blow dryer or cools it down like a, a fan in your room. Now I did plug it in. I plugged it in. It took about 20 minutes maybe to get chilly enough inside that it would keep anything you put in there cold. Uh, again, I'm not putting ice cream in there, but if I had a cold soda and I wanted to keep it cold, I would put it right in there and it would stay cold. So you know, about 20 minutes and it was there. Now, if you want to switch it to hot, you have to turn it off for about a half an hour, switch it to hot, and then it'll do the opposite effect. But um, what's really exciting for me with this is putting it in my Tesla. Like you guys know, we have a Tesla Model Y. Um, it's a 2020, but um, we have a 12 volt connector in the back, in the very back of the car. And that's actually what we're going to be doing today. Um, as you know, I mean, this is a regular 110 plugs right into that one in, in your house. But this, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking this, plug it into my Tesla. We are going to go on a trip and I'm going to test it out like that. So that's basically the idea of what I'm going to be doing here. Plugs it right into the DC and then you've got the 12 volt connector right there. So this is actually what I'm, what I like I said, what I'm super excited about. We're gonna jump out of the car, I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna go from there. So you can kind of see it back here. It actually fits really good. It looks like it's almost part of the car. Um, you know, like I said, this is for my friends over at Yachty Motor. And uh, I'm probably not saying that right, but uh, you guys get that. There's a link down in the description below for this. For this, there's also a promo code in there to save you a little bit of money, which is always nice. Um, but you know, typically when we're going on a road trip or something like that, we're going to have other stuff back here: backpacks, change of clothes, diapers, that kind of thing, just because of the situation that we have, or maybe even our dog. But our dog will actually fit up, fit back here, great, even with. Uh, this cooler in here right now. This is a thermoelectric cooler Like I said when we opened it up 
It's not designed to be a refrigerator forever, permanent or anything like that, but that's not what we're gonna use it for. It's not big enough for it anyway, but it's it's more than large enough to hold everything that we need in any particular day. And now your situation may be a little bit different. Obviously we have a, a toddler, so there's always toddler stuff that you have there, but you know, little things like, um, Juice. I mean, gosh, uh, juice. I never realized how much juice we actually need. You know, you get things like this that that, that just fit in there perfectly, and then you end up having uh, about that. Things like this that just fit in there perfectly, and it's 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 enough to keep it cold. It's enough to keep it warm. If we had ju you know milk in here or something like that, then we could. Uh, you know, keep the milk cold, um, you know, candy bars, whatever it is. You know, if you brought it to your office or whatever and you had it at your desk, you know, maybe you unplug it at night and you used it to keep your, I don't know, whatever you would keep warm in it. Obviously you have a microwave probably at your office, but you put candy bars in the side there. Uh, you know, kind of closes it off there and then you're good to go. It's got this great handle to move it around. If you had, you know, a power plug somewhere else, you know, you get to the location, then you can plug it in there while you're there during the day. Um, I mean, like I said, the setup, or like I showed you guys inside, the setup is super easy. It comes with both of these cords the regular 110 cord and the 12 volt cord. Now in the Tesla, as you guys know, you have a 12 volt connection. It's just a, this old cigarette lighter connection. It actually, it's hard to see, but connects on the side there, plugs it right in. And then on the back of it, you wanna make sure it's in the off setting. And then you plug it into the, now this is the DCL of the 12 volt. You wanna plug it right in there. And then when you turn it on, you're gonna see the green light. If you were to, uh, you know, the fan is super, super subtle too. You hardly even hear that part of it. Um, and then basically you're, that's it. Then you're good to go. Now this thing would even fit in the sub trunk too if you wanted to. If you wanted to send the wire through there or something like that. But um, I never really had an issue with it. Um, like I said, I've always got stuff in here. I've always got, um, you know, bags and stuff like that that, that keep it there. Um, you know, you might set it up a little bit different. In fact, you could probably even fold down this middle seat right here. If I didn't have a car seat back there, I would fold down this middle seat. You can see it kind of fits perfectly and it would fit perfectly on top of that, or at least perfectly accessible like this so that the passengers in the middle could actually access this, uh, during the drive or whatever you're doing. So, you know, the, the functionality, the use of it is, is almost limitless. Um, depending on what you guys are looking to get out of it. So, you know, check out the description below, jump over there, get yourself one of these. Um, is it one of those accessories that you have to have? Absolutely not, but it's one of those accessories that, I mean, they have a 12 volt plug on the back of the Tesla anyway. Now this is a Model Y, like you guys know. So I wanted to, wanted to utilize it and I'm always looking for a way to keep her stuff cool. Now this is our, our toddler. I mean, we have those little coolers that come in the backpacks and everything like that. And it's nice to find a way that you can actually plug it into the car and, and know that it's gonna stay cool. So, you know, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Make sure, you, you know you know the routine, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make, let me know the kind of videos you like to see. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic week, day, month so far, and that you're staying safe out there. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day.